cancer is a condition where uh, the normal cells or cell of a body becomes abnormal wherein they start multiplying with uncontrolled uh, growth and this uncontrolled multiplication leads to uh, overpopulation of the cells and uh, it destroys the organ of origin and additionally it starts spreading to the adjacent organs or by blood uh, stream it goes to the other parts of the body. Now this process is called uh, a metastasis and this is uh, called the spread of the cancer. The important thing in cancer to understand is if it is not picked up early or detected early it can destroy not only the organ of origin but multiple organs and can even lead to death of the person. So that is why cancer is a bit uh, fearful disease. Uh, the word for cancer is malignant and the word for non-cancer is benign. Cancer can occur in all parts of the body because all the organs of the body are made up of living cells and these living cells are supposed to uh, perform their function and die. But these cells, if they multiply and then they start growing uncontrolled, this is where uh, uh, the cancer starts and it can occur in all the living parts of the body. One thing to understand in this situation is that the origin of cancer is from one particular uh, organ, for example, kidney. Say there is uh, some cells in the kidney, they become cancerous and then they start destroying some part of the kidney and some of them decide to go out of the kidney and spread to the lungs. That is where they commonly spread. This happens to the blood circulation. So the lung that has the cancer at that point of time is not lung cancer, it is kidney cancer. So the cancer can occur uh, generally in one organ and then spread to other organs. So it can be a bit confusing but there is an organ of origin and an organ of spread. Normal cells in the body undergo regular birth to death cycle. When triggered to become abnormal and undergo uncontrolled multiplication that is when they become cancer. Now what are these triggers? The commonest known cause is smoking. The chemical compounds in the smoke can cause cancers in various parts of the body but many still feel that it is only the lung that can get affected by the smoking. In fact, urinary bladder cancer, colorectal cancers have been uh, found more common in smokers. The other causes of cancers are many a times inherited or like genetic disorders where the protein codes which are necessary for normal functioning of the cells these cells have that code which are abnormal and then these cells become uh, cancerous. The common other reasons why cancers occur is also infections, radiation and exposure to some medicines. So these are some uh, important causes of cancers. Cancer means cancer is a very common statement when common man uh, hears about somebody having cancer. But let me put it very clear that cancer does not mean cancer. It is not the end of story for the person or the patient. The thing to understand is, as everybody knows, cancer has stages and it runs from stage 1 to stage 4. So let's go with common sense and we can understand that stage 1 means lesser cancer and stage 4 means too much of cancer. So when there is stage 1 or 2 in a patient, then again by a common man's logic, it should mean that it may be treatable and it, be, it would be curable. So then it doesn't mean cancer. We can cure the patient. Whereas when it is stage 3 or 4, it is sad to say that there is too much of cancer cells. It has already spread from one organ to other. So how much can you treat? How, much ca how many cancer cells can you uh, kill? So at the end of the day, uh, cancer doesn't, does not mean cancer if we detect it early and if we can fight it out at that point rather than dealing with cases which are stage 3, stage 4. So cancer does not mean cancer. Yes, cancer can be prevented. It is an important point. But tell me one thing, can I prevent people from smoking? It is difficult. It is kind of a habit which converts into addiction. Unless there is awareness about the disease which can be dreadful, which can be fearful, which can be almost like a killer disease, then this kind of fear is the only factor that can uh, sometimes prevent cancer. Now, other important question here is whether all cancers can be prevented. Not all cancers can be prevented. So the only answer to that is 
early detection. What it means is that in the absence of disease or in the absence of uh, the cancer showing up or without any signs or symptoms, if we can detect the cancer in early stage, then we can fight that cancer out in stage 1 and 2. Uh, the common example is uh, after the women have been educated about breast cancer. So, uh, the stages of cancer of the breast cancer have uh, converted from the advanced stage to low stage and then we are able to offer better cure and better treatment. So, yes, cancer can be prevented but make sure that there are cancers that which cannot be prevented, there are cancers which can be detected early. So, keeping in mind both these points, we can fight the cancer very effectively. Mm -hmm.